Today is Tuesday. In the weekly chart, prices in the three and point five deviations and the four deviation. And today is Tuesday. What is more probability for this session? Is one question. Yeah, exactly. One reversal for the um, current direction, for, 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 para la dirección actual. Hemos sido bullish all this week. Bullish, bullish, bullish. So, today is Tuesday. Is probability one retracement or one reversal in this area, in the 3 and 0.5 deviations for the weekly range. Look here. Prices in the three in the mid for the three and point five deviations and the four deviation. So prices in one zone for retracement and reversal. And you combine the time. Today is Tuesday. It's probability one reversal for this session. Yeah, this is a specific criteria for identify this stage. It's no ambiguous. Imagine in the weekly chart. Okay, um, every week you have one power of three, and this present power of three. It's in the three and point five deviations and the four deviations. This is retracement zones. In your combine the time. It's Tuesday. Tuesday it's for reversals. Um, all these uh, elements. It's the formula for this um, logic or narrative for these moves. 3.5 deviations for the weekly range, four deviations, Tuesday, um, I don't know, all these uh, elements combined, it's for one reversal. It's it's very, very specific reversal. It's no ambiguous. It's low probability one continuation in this moment. Okay, look, for example, in this moment, look the clock, in two minutes, open the new 30 minutes power of three here this look the clock okay all the moment you need see the clock in two minutes open the new 30 minutes power of three okay so the question is what pdra you have in the present stage for the next power of three development, okay? Um, you need identify all potential speed array in these zones. For example, if price close in this area, what is the, in this time frame? what is the more um, discernible arrays in these areas? It's important. When you work with one specific power of three, for example, this is 30 minutes. You need PD array for the same time frame or higher time frame. Okay. When you have these arrays, you can anticipate more precision in lower time frames. But it's important first identify for the the same time frame PD arrays or higher time frames PD array. Okay. These inversions it's very far for this moment. Price is in distribution, so probability price don't move due to this inversion. These weeks, this week and this week, large weeks in this area. This is your inversions. This is the way for anticipate the continuation distributions because probability this a big moves in bearish move. It's problematic for you. Oh, price already moved and I don't take any trade in this portion. Oh, fuck. I don't take trades in this area. Bro, you need waiting patience for every power of three in development. This is the second power of three in this section, the 30 minutes power of three. So you need patience for this um, distributions or price actions dynamics in this area. In this present moment, I am waiting for the silver bullet song. I am waiting, only waiting because prices in this area and um, in this moment take the previous daily low. This is external liquidity. 
So I need one move for external to internal in the one deviation and the 1.5 deviation. This is a specific criteria for the next price moves. Look, for the moment, okay? For the moment, the candles bodies is below the 30 minutes open here. Look, previous daily low here and fair value gap. Previous daily low, it's the RA higher time frame in this area. This purple line, it's the opening here. The drowse on liquidity in the daily chart. Look, this Monday's lows plus this BC. Buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency in this area. Daily BC. Okay, right now, if price is in continuation, in bearish, it's important remains below the previous daily low, okay? So, previous daily low in this moment is your invalidation level above the opening and previous daily low. Time opening and price level, previous daily low. Okay, what happened with the 30 minutes, power of three? Look, this is second chart. By the idea, it's in this 30 minutes power of three. Remember when price opened this candle, open and you anticipate this move inside these weeks, right? So price is in this um, power of three in development. If you refine in this first week, look here. Previous daily high. Yeah, this is other important level here. Good observation, Mark and um, MK. So it's important one close below the previous weekly high for the bearish continuations. If price close below the previous weekly high, this is one big confirmations for the continuations to the Tuesday low and the Monday's low. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Tuesday low taken, partials here, partials, 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 partials. Ah, beautiful, beautiful price delivery, bro. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This 30 minutes power of three, it's enough for make money. The 30 minutes power of three. You don't take the initial moves, don't problem, bro, don't problem. Patience, you need patience. Yeah, in my first entry, take partials, break even, I take other entry, um, yeah, dancing with NASDAQ. I take my trades below the 30 minutes open. In this area, look here in this area, I take my trade. When I see these candles, candles bodies below the opening 30 minutes, I think in, in, in these distributions and I take trades here in this area. Tuesday low plus one fair value gap. So if price continue in this moment to the Monday's low, this is the array. It's important remains below this fair value gap. Okay, new 30 minutes power of three in this moment. The previous power of three, you work with this power of three, 30 minutes. Very, very specific criteria in this area. Weekly open, remember, remember, please, when this candle open in this candle here, before this candle open, you anticipate this power of three in these weeks for continue to the Monday's low. So this is your range opportunity. Weeks moved to the Monday low. Okay, so your work or your attention is in this area only in this area. For this reason, I move to the lower time frames. Second chart in this area and anticipate all these price dynamics in this area. Look, fair value gaps, new lowers lows, expansions, 
But the directions, the power of three, it's in higher time frame. Only one candle. You need only one power of three with one clear direction. Solo un power of three necesitas teniendo una dirección muy, muy clara. En este caso, no lo dije yo, lo dijeron ustedes cuando pregunté cuál es nuestro rango de oportunidad. Sigue abierto, sigue cerrado. ¿Qué día es hoy? ¿Qué es más probable? ¿Una continuación? No lo dije yo, lo dijeron ustedes. A esto me refiero, pues que el enfoque se tiene que ir reduciendo cada vez más y más y más a algo específico. Estamos esperando algo específico. ¿Hay momentos de no saber? Sí. Pero cuando sabemos, es claro, como desde el inicio de esta sesión, today it's very clear for Monster Lab eh, teachings, it's clear because it's in the 3.5 deviations, 4 deviations in the weekly chart, it's Thursday, bla, 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 bla. So it's clear for this session. Daily busy hit, Ratchet, right now. This is all for today. Look, the weekly chart. All the logic for today and the price move, it's for this time frame, the weekly chart. It's no for lower time frame. It's no for lower power of three. It's no for, um, I don't know. This is the weekly chart, the weekly power of three. So in the beginning for this streaming, this candle, is in this point, in this price. So anticipate this retracement or reversals because today is Tuesday, it's the day for reversals and price is in this standard deviation. So it's very specific criteria, it's no ambiguous. So um, this is all for this. NASDAQ weekly chart. 3.5 deviations for this range and 4 deviations. Reversals in this area anticipate in the previous live session. In this week, price opening below the quarter power of three or the monthly power of three. In this July open. And the same time, the previous week, close below the bullish candle here. This is the bullish candle, the last bullish candle before price ratchet the retracements or reversal zone, the 3.5 deviations here. In the midpoint price reversal on Tuesday close below the July open. Uh, this is key level because you need to think about the power of three in the development. This is the July open. When price close below this time element, this is one confirmation for one change in the phase for the power of three. When price change from accumulation to manipulation, It's important move above or below this time element. Or when prices change from manipulation to distribution, price need close above or below this level. And when you have this time element and plus price element, in this case, this bearish order block, it's your PDRA, it's your price level and your Time level is the July open. This is high probability PDRA. When you combine the time element plus the price element, this is high probability. Okay, this is all for this video. I hope this live session and this update is helpful for your understanding this price dynamics in higher time frame. Que tengas un buen trading y nos vemos en, una próxima, en un próximo video.